Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now answering um, question number one from the June 2023 International A Level Edexcel Pure Mathematics P1 paper. So, this is, um, you know, the 2023 paper, which um, is one and a half hours long. Okay. But I'm going to answer each question on a separate video so that I can save the, the video in different playlists, one for the actual paper, one for the topic, which each question is from. So the first question here we see is to do with solving quadratic inequalities. So it says, in this question, you must show all stages of your working. Solutions relying on calculated technology are not acceptable. And we'll see, explain why they have written those statements there. So it says, solve the inequality 4x squared minus 3x plus 7 is greater than or equal to 4x plus 9. So what we have to do first to solve this inequality is we have to rearrange it so it has a 0 on one side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get 4x squared and minus 3x and plus 7. And I'm going to take away 4x from both sides of the equation and also take away 9 from both sides of the equation, leaving us with 0 on that side. Okay, subtract 4x and 9 from both sides, and you're left with a 0 on this side. And now when we simplify this, we end up with 4x squared minus 7x, and we've got um, 7 minus 9, which is minus 2. It's greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so now this is going to make it easy for us to actually solve the inequality. This inequality is the same as that. We've just added or subtracted the same thing from both sides. Now, to solve the quadratic inequality, what we need to do is we need to, first of all, find where it equals zero, okay? And then we can decide where it's greater than or less than zero. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solve the equation 4x squared minus 7x minus 2 equals zero. Now, one of the things that um, it mentions very clearly in the mark schemes and the examiner's reports for such questions is that it's not acceptable for us to just use a calculator and get the answers from the you know function of solving equations in the calculator so you can't just write x equals and x equals and then continue without losing the the marks the method marks for the question so if you want to gain all four marks you must show that you solve this equation here either by factorizing or by completing the square or by using the quadratic formula okay one of those three methods must be shown. You must show that you did that for you to get the method marks. Now this, I think this will factorize. So I'm going to factorize this. I'm going to use my own little way of factorizing where I make my uh, grid. Okay, this is like splitting the middle term, but in a visual way. So the x squared term you write on the top left and the constant term you write on the bottom right. And then Basically, these two numbers multiplied together, or these two terms multiplied together, to give you a product of minus 8x squared. So these two also have to multiply together to give you minus 8x squared. But they must also add to give you this middle term, which is minus 7x. So the sum of those two terms must be negative 7x. So we need to find two numbers. When we multiply them, we get negative 8x squared. When we add them, we get negative 7x. Well, that's negative 8x and plus 1x. If you multiply them, you're going to get negative 8x squared. If you add them, you get negative 7x. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these two terms here and take out the common factor and write it out here. So you've got 4 and 8, the common factor is 4. x squared and x, the common factor is x. So 4x is a common factor of these two. Then the rest is pretty simple. All I have to do is put up here what multiplies to give me 4x squared when I multiply it by this side. So 4x times x is 4x squared. And over here, 4x times something gives me minus 8x. That's negative 2. And x times uh, something gives me one, um, plus x, so it must be plus 1. So we end up with our factorized version 4x plus 1 times x minus 2 equals 0. And we can check in case we made a mistake. 4x times x is 4x squared. Then you've got minus 8x and plus 1x, which is minus 7x and minus 2. So we know that we're correct. And so therefore, we can say that either 4x plus 1 equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0. In this case, x is equal to negative a quarter and x is equal to 2. Now, the mask he mentions very clearly that 
um, you know, they need to see this factorizing. Okay, so you should show the fact that you factorized. Okay, now some people think they're clever and they work backwards in the incorrect way. So they, some people might write x plus a quarter time uh, times x. Um, so x minus a quarter times x plus two. Sorry, x plus a quarter, I mean, sorry, and x minus 2. Now, if they see that you've written this, they know that you got the answer x equals negative a quarter from your calculator and x equals 2 from your calculator, and then you kind of th thought you worked backwards. All right? So you don't write this down, otherwise you'll lose the method marks. As you see the mark scheme, it says M0 for writing this, meaning they know that what you've done. Okay, you have actually... Um, not factorized, you've gone from the answer from your calculator first and try to work, work backwards. Okay, if you're going to do that properly, working backwards, okay, then you should write it like this first. This is 4x equals minus 1, so 4x plus 1 equals 0 and x minus 2 equals 0, and that way you won't have that problem. But you should know how to factorize anyway, all right? So factorizing or completing the square or using the formula, all three of those methods one of them must be shown for you to get the marks for the method marks for this question so that's the first part now we know that that's when this equals zero at these two points so if i was to draw the draw the graph y equals 4x squared minus 7x minus 2 okay it's going to be a quadratic as we know so i'll just draw i'll just sketch a quadratic okay we know that it passes through the x-axis in two points when x equals minus a quarter and x equals two. So that would be negative a quarter and that would be two. Of course, the, the y-axis is going to be closer to negative a quarter than two. So it would go up like this. Okay, this is just a, a rough sketch. We can see it goes to negative two. We don't have to worry about that too much, actually. So that's the graph of y equals 4x squared minus 7x minus two. Okay, it continues on like this. All right, now, we want to show where this is greater than or equal to zero. Well, it's equal to zero at negative a quarter and two. That's where this graph hits the x-axis, where it's equal to zero. Okay, um, that's like when y equals zero. And when is it greater than zero? Well, y is equal to zero on this line, and y is less than zero below, the, below this line. Okay, so... 4x squared minus 7x minus 2 is, is less than 0 below this line. Therefore, it's greater than 0 above this line. So wherever the curve goes above the x-axis, then this inequality is true. So we can see that the region where x goes above the x-axis starts from here. So in terms of the values of x, it's any x value which is greater than 2 and any x value which is less than a quarter all these x values from two onwards and from negative a quarter onwards they'll always give you a positive answer when you substitute those into this inequality making it true so for example if i choose a value of x which is less than negative a quarter it will give us an answer where this expression will be greater than or equal to zero be greater than zero if it's x equals negative a quarter this will make it zero but any value of x which is between minus a quarter and two in this region here, it's going to give us a negative value for this inequality. So, for example, if I choose x equals zero, we're going to get negative two. And negative two is not greater than equal to zero, so that causes inequality to be false. So, the, the values of x which satisfy our inequality are all the values of x. So, we can say that um, all the value of, of x when x is less than negative a quarter and equal to it, or when x is greater than or equal to 2. These are the set of values which satisfy um, this inequality. Whenever x is less than negative a quarter and x is great, less than or great, equal to negative a quarter or greater than or equal to 2, then this inequality is true. And if this is inequality is true, then it means this inequality is also true because it follows on. We just subtracted 4x and 9 from both sides. Okay, so there is a solution to this question. Okay, the question did not ask us to write it in set notation. If it did, we could just write something like this. We say x is such that x is less than or equal to negative a quarter. 
um, union with, not intersection with, x is greater than or equal to 2. Okay, because it's it's not intersecting because there's no uh, common commonality between these two. So it's when x is less than negative a quarter or when x is greater than or equal to 2, that's when this inequality is true. But they, you don't have to write it in set notation. Writing it in this form is absolutely fine. So that's the answer to question number one. So the important points for you to realize are that you have to basically show how you got this answer. Show how you got x equals negative a quarter, x equals 2. You have to show that you factorized, okay? Or as I said, use completing the square or the quadratic formula. Very important for you to understand that. Okay, so that completes question number one from June 2023. Other questions from this particular paper will be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from this topic of solving um, inequalities, um, basic inequalities will be found in this um, playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And you can watch a video that the link will appear here, which tells you how to use my channel efficiently. Thank you for watching and see you soon.